Hi there, and thanks so much for joining us today. Um, last night, uh, we posted this on our social media channels, and a lot of you were asking about how uh, we did this, um, this part in particular. And so anyway, what I thought I'd do today is just uh, show you a video of how I made it. So, uh, before we get into that, let's just um, go to the catalog. This is the uh, current catalog, the 2020 to 2021 annual catalog. And this product that I'm using is from the Peony Garden Suite, which is on this page here. So, this flower was made by cutting out, uh, by using the Peony dies. Uh, this stamp set here is from the prized Peony stamp set, which is just here. Uh, we also have the, the gems. Can you see the gems there? Uh, they are the elegant faceted gems and they are awesome. This um, outline here is using a die from the collection, the Hippo and Friends die collection. And also, there's one other thing. Oh yes, this right, this um, beautiful embossing folder. Um, hopefully you can see that like that. Uh, but that is the Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. So they're the program, uh, the products that I've used uh, on this card. I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this card this morning. And stick around to the end because um, I'm going to tell you how you can get all of the products on this page uh, for lower than the listed price here. Um, so anyway, stick around for that and um, that will be good. So let's get underway. First of all, we have the card base. Now I've used a thick Whisper White card base um, be, just because I find it it's thicker <laughs> and it, it's able to stand up a lot better. The Whisper White cardstock is great for stamping on and, and other die pieces, but in terms of a card base, I always do it, when I'm doing it in white, I always use thick Whisper White. So I'm just going to um, uh, what's the word? Folding? No, emboss... Um, Make the crease of the card. I don't even know what, I can't even think of what the word is. So using the Stampin' Up! trimmer, there's actually two uh, things, two um, track uh, rollers that you can use. One is cutting and one is creasing. I guess creasing is the word that I'm after. So uh, I'll just get that. And I'll just burnish that a bit more along the edge. Now, looking at this, the next piece that I want to do is this uh, um, embossed piece. So again, I mentioned that I'm going to use the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. You can see that, hopefully. Uh, but it's just got this really nice, uh, fine image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that through the embossing folder. And there we have it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so that will just go down like this. So I'll stick that down. I'm just going to stick it down using Tombow because I can. And I'll stick that down. Perfect. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'll do the stamping, uh, but I won't stick it down. So I'll just get it ready. So this uh, stamped image, as mentioned, I'm using the prized peony stamp set. And the stamp set, the stamp that I'm actually going to use is this one here, love and thanks to a dear friend. So I'm going to stamp that into, um, in Melon Mambo. And I'll just turn that over. 
So you can see uh, the image that I'm going to be stamping. And I'll just stamp that in the middle there. Perfect. So that is all ready. So I'll just put that over to the side for when I'm uh, ready to use it later. The next piece that I'm going to use, uh, going to create is this one here. And I'm, as mentioned, I'm using the um, die collection. It's actually the Hippo and Friends die collection and it's this big one here. So I'll just grab a piece of um, vellum. And I'll cut that out. Ah, here it is. Had everything ready, but then I couldn't find it. So there we are. So this is the one that I'm going to cut out. And I'll just do that now. Wow, wasn't that quick? <laughs> so that's the one that's going to, um, that's going to be there. Now I won't stick it down right now, but it's ready to go along with the stamp, uh, stamped image. I'll just wait until I create this uh, flower. So let's get to the flower, the peony. I'll just put everything aside. Now, when I first opened this die collection, I was, well, first of all, let me go back to the first time I saw the image in the catalogue. So I saw this image in the catalogue and I'm like, how on earth is that created? That is just, is it an embossing folder? Is it, I had no idea. And then I saw this piece over here, still didn't quite understand it. And then once we got it, um, Kylie was having a play and she made a quick video and I was just like, what? It's that easy. <laughs> so, um, what all you have to do, there are four pieces that make up the peony. There's this one, there's this one, there's this one, and there is this one. So, the key is I'll just put that aside. As you can see, these line up along the bottom. So see the bottom part, how that lines up? And then that lines up, and then that lines up. So as you can see that when you line them all up, that's how they are going to be assembled. So basically you cut each one of these out and you fit them inside one another. So what I'm going to do, I have some Melon Mambo cardstock here and I'm just going to lay that out here. Oops, not that way, this way. And I'll cut them out. And here they are. Wow, that was so quick. So if I just lay them out from biggest to smallest, that's how they go. And that one fits in like that. So what the way that that works is that this big one, uh, this second biggest one fits inside there like that. Then this one fits inside there like that. And then this one fits inside there like that. It's actually better to do it the other way around. <laughs> so you fit the smaller one inside the second smallest one. And then you fit this one inside the next one. And then this one inside the next one. It is super easy. And that's how you get this effect. So one of the things that I, um, after I made this, um, 
I created this um, card based on something that I saw on Instagram. Now, one of my friends was uh, went out for breakfast and they posted a photo of their breakfast and on the side they had another, they had some flowers. And I thought, I'm going to make a peony card based on that photo. So I'll just, uh, I'll just post it in here, that photo. So one of the things that you can see is that it has an opening here for a stamen that com comes out. So I'm going to add that to this card that we're making today. Now, what I want to do is you can see I've got some shading here and I created that using Craft Ink and some sponge daubers. So I'll show you how I do that, did that now. I'll just disassemble that. So the shading, um, you can see that I've got some shading here and some shading at the top of each piece. And the way that I did that was quite simply like this. I just fed this into here and I shaded along there. So I'll show you exactly how you can do that. Now every time I open this, there seems to be bits on the... You need very little of this. Now I'm sure somehow I got that on my finger. No, I didn't. Excellent. So I'll just grab my sponge daubers. And I've got one for white. And very little is required. So it's just a matter of going along the edge here. Excellent. So I'll just do the inside pieces first and then I'll do the top pieces. Also feed it in from the top like that. And this final part uh, just a bit more maybe. Yeah, last time I tried this, I, I don't know how, but I got this white paint all over my hands, over my phone, over my phone case, on my pants. So this white ink, be careful with it. Oh uh, dear. So that was, that's quite an effective way of just adding a bit of shading. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the same thing, but across the top of the flower. So the bits that uh, will be sticking across the top. So I'll just lightly sponge across the edge. Might grab a bit more. And that just gives a bit of depth. Oops, a bit too much there. Let's hopefully I can take that off really effective way of just adding some depth to that I 
I might just add a bit more to that. Yeah, like that. A bit more to the edge. And a bit more to this edge. Great. So that is all of the sponging that I will do for this card. I'll just put it back in here. Now, if you um, would like, this is just one of our wood mount cases. And if you want to download uh, these, this cover that we've made, uh, we'll just post a link uh, to that here. Okay, so the next thing we can do is feed that together and stick it together. One other thing that uh, you'll notice is that there's, there's a bit of, um, like it's sort of folded up a bit. And I simply did that by using the bone folder and this, um, what's it called? Foam mat. <laughs> so what I might do is I'll just turn it around and I'll just lightly um, release the fibers just so that it will make it a bit easier when I turn it around and fold it up if that makes sense so those have been released a bit and I can literally just bend it up like that so it gives it more of a florally look <laughs> Uh, that one should be okay. So I'll do the same thing here. Excellent. And this one here. I'll just bend that up because it's just a little bit. Okay, now the last thing that we can do to assemble this is glue it together. So what this is, what's going to happen is that this is going to go in there. So I'll put it in there and I'll just feed it through a bit further and just put a dot of Tombow and then feed it back. And that sits like that. Excellent. And that's all it needs. I'll do the same thing for this one. Feed it through. Put a dot of glue. And then I'll feed it back. You can see the uh, peony make, uh, starting to take shape. And the last one, same thing, just feeds in there. And I'll just feed it through a bit extra, put a dot, and then push it back in. And that is the flower. Very simple. Now I mentioned to you about the stamen and this is something that is going to be new for this card. This is the piece and I'm going to do it in Mango Melody. So that can just go in there. I'll put it underneath and in. So I don't want it to be the star, but I want it to be seen at least. So I'll push that in. Oops, a bit too much, of course.
there. Wow, that's a really nice addition, isn't it? The next thing that we have are the leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those leaves out using um, shaded spruce. And I also have a little strip of um, designer series paper. This comes from the designer series paper uh, stack, which is this one, the Regals designer series paper stack. Again, this is one of the um, case inserts. We've pre-cut all of that card, uh, the designer series paper, and I've just taken a, a piece out. And I'm going to cut these edge pieces of the leaves. Now I'll just show you what they are. So these are the die collection. So this is the leaf and this is a little edge piece to the leaf and that just sits over the top like that. So I'm going to cut out the three leaves in the same way and I'll be right back. So here they are. There's a leaf, a leaf, and a leaf. And there's a piece, a piece, and a piece. Now I want it to be on the sort of denim looking side. So that one sits over the top there, like that. Uh, this one sits like that. And this one sits like so. So I'll just glue those down together. It just needs a dot of, oof, of course I put too much on. So I'll just take it off by another one of those pieces and stick that down. If it's loose, I don't mind. I just want it to be stuck like so and like so Very nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one like that and the other two like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some dimensionals and assemble it like that. So now we can start assembling our card. Now remember we cut this piece of vellum out, so that's going to sit like that, that's going to sit like that, and I don't mind that it uh, hangs over the edge like that. I'm going to mount that on some dimensionals, uh, both above and below, so I'll just grab those here. Now I'll just add another layer there. Uh, 
and I'll get that to go about there. Perfect. Now I have the stamped image here, so I'll just stamp that there. I mean, mount that there using some dimensionals because of course, Now I want it to go underneath this piece, so I'll make sure that I line that up like so. So that's the front of our card. Actually, there's one more thing. I'm going to add some elegant faceted gems and I'll just add those in random places. So this is your the take your pick tool, uh, which is really good for picking things up. Just add another one there. Perfect. And that is the outside of the card. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the inside of the card. Now I don't want it to be too flashy or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is we typically have, um, if you use our card templates, and if you've never used our card templates, there's a link here uh, to a link somewhere. Um, this is the general insert of the card layer. This is the Poppy Parade layer. And so depending on where you live, it's a different uh, size. This is in metric, this uh, type of card template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a piece of Whisper White and I'm going to use this Dainty Diamonds uh, embossing folder again but I'm going to put a piece on both the bottom flap and the top flap. So in addition to that, I'm going to, because you wouldn't be able to write on something that's been embossed like that, I'm going to uh, put a highlight layer of Melon Mambo, and then over the top, I'm going to add a piece of Whisper White, and that's the place that it's going to be written on. So I've already done that actually, you'll be very impressed. And so here are the embossed pieces. Can you see them? Look really cool, don't they? So that's going to be uh, like that, and that's going to be like that. Kylie and I have been decorating the top flap as well, and we think it's quite neat. The next picks we're going to use, so it's going to be the um, just a little sneak and that's going to be the piece that you can write on. So it's quite a nice use of the embossing folder and uh, will also give you uh, something really nice to look at when you open the card. So I'll just stick that down. And I'll stick this one down. And I'll stick the top one down.
And the final part is that one there. Very nice. So you can see, whoops, just move that there. <laughs> so I'll just hold that down to stick it. Because it's an embossed image, an embossed surface, it's not, um, it doesn't automatically stick like that. So you can see that. I'll just move it around in the light. That will be something really neat. And that is our card. So I hope you like it. I hope you have a try at uh, using this peony die. Uh, like I said, the first time I saw it, I was just like, what on earth? Uh, but it's super simple. You saw how quick, it, what, quick and easy it was for me to uh, be able to make that for you. Now, I mentioned at the start of the video uh, that there was a special deal where you can buy uh, this whole suite of products. Now, this suite of products, which includes the bundle, which is the stamp set and the die collection, you can get some square um, vellum doilies. You can get this beautiful designer series paper. You can get the faceted gems, which we used on our project today. These ones. You can get the dainty diamonds embossing folder and you can also get this shimmer ribbon here now if you buy that from our online store now you can pay $170.50 now you're welcome to do that however we want to let you know about this amazing deal that is happening right now you can pay if you join our team you can pay just $169 and you can add this to your starter kit. But you can also select an extra $64.50 of anything from the whole catalog. Now, $64.50 is easy for you to spend. But remember, you're paying less, but you're getting more. So add this to your starter kit. Plus, this month, you get a free bundle of any value. So remember this um, outline here? This is from the Hippo and Friends bundle. Now, if we just turn over to page 176, this is the bundle. So what it includes is all of these shapes um, and you get the stamp set that coordinates with it. Now, normally that's $84.50, but you can get that for free. So you can choose any of these bundles, any of these bundles on this page, you can choose for free. There's also bundles in the punch section and they're all in varying prices. Uh, there's some beautiful ones with flowers. There's some other uh, words, but remember just in summary, this page highlights every, all the products that we've used today and you can pay $170.50. You can buy that now. However, if you join our team, you pay $169, you get free postage, you get all of the products on this page, plus you can select an additional $64.50, plus you can get a free bundle of your choice. And as I've just mentioned, you can add this bundle, the Hippo and Friends bundle. So. We would love to have you in our team. We've already had lots of people join our team. And if you live in Australia, we want you to join our team too. So if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today, uh, please reach out to Kylie or myself and we'll be happy to answer it. Thanks so much for watching today. See you later.